Before leaving Poland, Rula is taking Maureen to an art gallery which is dedicated to her beloved great-uncle Joseph Chapsky. You know what vodka means? Little water. Voda is water and vodka is little water. Well, now, there you are. So, actually, what you're drinking for sort of 12 hours of the day is little water. <laughs> is that right? 12 Ooh. hours of the day. <laughs> And here you have the Yusef Chopsky Pavilion. Yes, you are pretty special when you've got your own pavilion. Yes, absolutely. And I'm longing for you to see it because I think you'll love it. Oh, look. Wow. Oh, there geez. is. That speaks artist, doesn't it? Look at this face. Looks like one of my family rather than one of yours. <laughs> and then here, this is a self-portrait with light bulbs. Yes, I love yeah. this one. Wow. And it looks like he's wearing pince-nez rather than glasses. He often used to have broken glasses, Did he? I remember, yeah. Yes. They were stuck with gaffer tape. Love it. I love it. That's a wonderful piece of art. Unbeknownst to Rula, historian Spencer has a surprise in store for her. There's Maureen, Rula. Hey, there's a face I recognise. <laughs> How lovely to How welcome you. I'm very well, thank Good. you. Wonderful to be able to welcome you to the Josef Japsky Pavilion. Thank you. Incredible place. Every one of these paintings is by Josef. Mm -hmm. And you get a sense of his importance to modern Poland. They've brought all of his paintings here to display. Apart from one I've got in my house. Well, <laughs> you, you better let them know. <laughs> so we, we go to 1945. Josef is reunited with Maria and they both move to Paris. Uh, and they turn to what brings them both happiness art, mm. literature, culture, and the work you see around you in this gallery... Was is, done in that time. ...is all from that period. We can see some of the, the detail he's putting into his sketches. Yeah. Can, I, can I show you this little sketch down here? Yeah. Tiny little sketch was yeah. down there, that little rectangle. Those are stairs and mm. banisters, and that is the stairway up to the little rooms where he and yeah. Maria... Lived and you remember together. I told you the treads were so narrow and they had such huge feet. Mm. He had to go. She yeah, had, he had to go down sideways. Uh, he had to go sideways. Well, can I take you around the the, the that, corner? Yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh ho oh, oh, ho! I remember that. Th this is that sta stairway, yes. ruler, and it's going into their flat. It's really nice. It may not have been a palace, but <laughs> it looks it like was, it was their yeah. palace. Mm. Their palace. They were very very happy there. Yeah. How wonderful. Yeah. And it was so tiny. You know, imagine when I used to come and stay with my sister and my father, we all lived there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, that flat, everything from the window to the paintbrushes he used mm. has been moved and moved upstairs here. They've recreated it wow. exactly how it was. Oh, my goodness. And today, for the... Uh, only time normally you simply view it from a platform today the museum have said would you like to go into that oh, flat yes, to step into their world yes please well then let thank us go thank you I remember it so well. Do you? Yes. How old were you when you were last in this room? 12, 13, something like that. Full of his heart and soul. Everything, every single thing was moved bit by bit, book by book, paintbrush by paintbrush. Oh, that photograph over there. Who's that? Oh, is that my the, gosh. Is that, um... That's my grandmother. Oh, really? Yeah. The middle one is your yes, grandmother? Yes, And that's Maria next to her. What a privilege to actually be able to come in here, into the space that he occupied for so many years.